Assalamualaikum and good evening to my examiner and fellow viewers. I am Siti Shain Tabiti Muhammad Pahusi, the author of this research project. Okay, choosing of ingredients is crucial part. In order to produce high quality of food products, same goes with bread products that require the suitability ingredient to produce good quality of bread. Others than flour, use also essential ingredients in bread making as leavening agent. But do you notice that there is different types of is available in our market? Is it different and how those types could affect the physical properties of bread? So, I do research on the effect of different types of yeast in fresh and frozen bread. Commonly, they have three types of yeast available in the market, which is compressed yeast, active dry yeast, and instant yeast. However, in this research, the effect of active dry yeast and instant yeast was studied since sources of compressed yeast is limited. As bakery industry in Malaysia more concerned on the use of instant yeast compared to both compressed and active dry yeast, and frozen bread especially for white bread rarely produced, so a lack of findings about the effect of the use of compressed yeast and active dry yeast on fresh and frozen bread, the objective of this study is to determine the effect of these types on physical characteristics and its organolactic properties. Okay, through the research project, Four samples bread were prepared, which is fresh instant yeast act as a control, fresh active dry yeast, frozen instant yeast, and frozen active dry yeast bread sample. And also the physical analysis was conducted to analyze its physical properties such as the specific volume, color, moisture, texture, and pore size of bread. From the analysis conducted, I found that the specific volume of fresh instant yeast bread show significant difference compared to the other spread. Frozen instant yeast and frozen active dry yeast bread sample found to have lower specific volume. Frozen bread reduced the specific volume of bread compared to fresh bread even though different types of yeast was used. Reduction of bread specific volume caused by the formation of ice crystals that led to water distribution during freeze thaw cycle. This also affect the proofing time as well. The prolonged of proofing time might due to the changes of starch and gluten developed structure in frozen dough. Others than that, moisture of bread presented in the table was found to have no significant difference among all types of bread. However, frozen bread shows the higher moisture content. The higher moisture content in frozen bread caused by the formation of ice crystal during freezing and frozen storage that damage the physical and gluten network in the dough. The texture of bread are shown in the table, which clearly found that there was significant difference in terms of texture, which is the hardness between the fresh and frozen bread applied with instant yeast with fresh and frozen bread applied with active dry yeast. Shortest proofing time was the factor that impact the hardness to increase, since proofing linked with the production of carbon dioxide and bread made from active dry yeast required longer proofing time. Frozen bread caused the hardness to increase since it involved the changes of moisture in frozen dough. The starch was damaged as the frozen storage was applied. This increased the moisture in frozen dough through water diffused away from the gluten matrix. Other texture attributes such as springiness, cohesiveness, and chewiness show no significant difference is on the table. The other findings, the pore size of each bread consequently have differences formation of pore based on the binary image produced from the image cheese software. Frozen bread show the porous bread since it has great pore size, the great size caused by the structural damage during frozen dough storage. For the color, frozen bread with instant and active dry yeast show highest mean of L value on crust compared to fresh bread. The lightness color of frozen bread is due to the formation of ice crystals on the surface of bread during frozen storage has increased the whiteness color of crust. The L value of crumb color shows no significant difference in both fresh and frozen bread. Since I do the special topics regarding their organoleptic properties based on the other research study journal, they have differences in terms of yeast flavor, texture, crust color in frozen bread compared to fresh bread. The yeast flavor of frozen bread are decreases since the yeast activity was reduced by freezing and frozen storage. 
The texture of frozen bread is quite hard and the crust color of frozen bread shows more lighter. Thus, as a conclusion for this research, different types of yeast use does not impact on the physical characteristic of bread, while the physical changes and its organoleptic properties affected by the processing method, especially for frozen process. Before I end this presentation, lastly, I want to give special thanks and respect to my supervisor, Dr. Nurul Ashikin for her guiding toward this research and this research want to acknowledge with much appreciation to all laboratory staff and my friends for the help throughout the research was conducted. So that's all from me. Thank you.